Hey guys, welcome in uh, week number 10 here in a college football season and uh, we've got ourselves a pretty good matchup uh, on a Friday night as the Pac-12 will be in focus. Oregon State, who doesn't love the good Beaver to start the weekend off here, taking on the Washington Huskies, Kevin Dolan. Uh, fours, I'm seeing four and a half, uh, somewhere around the 57 and a half, 58 mark. What do you think of uh, Oregon State taking on Washington in Washington? Uh, probably still lean to Oregon State in this one for me, Joe. I I made this number around the one and a half mark for the Huskies. So at the current number, not a whole pile of value going by my power rankings, but I'd definitely be more in favour uh, of still taking the Beavers in this spot. You know, I've been impressed with their running game this year. Uh, Damian Martinez continues to be a real headache. Uh, for opponent, opponent opposing defences over the back half of this season. You know, he's averaging nine yards per carry. But, you know, the one concern I would have uh, stepping in with this Oregon State team heading into this one, you know, is their slight dip off in road form this year? You know, they're averaging 0 0.3 yards per game less on the ground away from home this season. Uh, they're allowing 72 yards per game more to opponents on the road this year as well. Um, but, you know, look, I nevertheless think that this Beavers team who've, you know, had extra time to prepare for this one, obviously, as have Washington, um, who have kept three straight opponents now to under 100 rushing yards per game over the last three starts. Uh, that's the first time since 2009 that's happened. And I've actually kept them to under 66 yards total on average over those three starts as well, which, you know, is one of the best marks in the entire country right now. So, you know, with that subpar ground game of Washington's heading into this one, the Beavers can effectively make the Huskies um, look quite linear here on Saturday. So, you know, while Washington does have one of the best passing games in the entire country right now under Michael Penix Jr., even so, I just think this line's a touch too high here. You know, considering Oregon State's second-ranked defense in the Pac-12 this year, and you know, I would expect them to make life very tough for the Huskies in this one. So, yeah, you know, if I'm playing this one, um, it's going to be on the Oregon State side of the ledger here on Saturday. So, last time we saw Oregon State, uh, Merrill, it was a uh, just a thrashing there of uh, of Colorado. But you know, join the club. Who doesn't beat Colorado? Uh, but uh, Washington, uh, their coach, uh, you know, of Oregon State, Jonathan Smith. Very familiar with this uh, Washington program. Kalen DeBoer has done great things with Penix and company. What do you think we get in this one? Well, first of all, you know, I do the top 25 video every week for Saturday's games at wagertalk.com. That's head-to-head -head matchups, so this game will not qualify. But I bring that up because Oregon State is now in the top 25 as a uh, sneak in with the number 24 ranking this week in Week 10. So uh, we'll see how they play with it. You know, a lot of times teams that break into the top 25 for the first time, especially after a while, they take their foot off the gas. It's a little bit of a exhale, um, but I don't think that'll be the case here. It's a national TV late night, Friday night game, as you mentioned. And the fact that they're also installed as a decent sized underdog here, I don't think Oregon State's going to overlook this game. Uh, Washington does have an excellent pass attack. They've also won nine of the last 10 straight up in this series. Uh, so it would be a little bit of an upset for Oregon State to pull this off. Um, and by the way, this is the first time that Oregon State is ranked in the AP Top 25 poll since 2013. It's been nine years. So this is an improved squad this year. And I do think they're probably the better team overall here getting points, as Kevin said. And we talked about Washington's strong passing attack, but their pass defense has really struggled this year. In fact, that's the biggest difference in this game is pass defense. Oregon State gives up just 6.7 yards per pass. Washington gives up 8.2 and um, they've actually faced a tougher schedule of opponents overall. I think Washington's faced slightly better passing attacks, but still 6.7 versus 8.2. Um, so we're getting the better team, the higher ranked team, and the better pass defense here as an underdog. Um, and also Oregon State has the better rushing attack, 195 yards a game, five yards a carry versus just 130 and 4.0 for Washington. So there's definitely some reasons to uh, lean towards the underdog, like Kevin was saying. Penix Jr. too, leading the country in passing yards, sixth in TD passes. Should be a good one Friday night. It's also really good if you head over to wagertalk.com right now. Visit both Kevin Dolan and Steve Merrill. Take advantage of those three-day, seven-day, and 30-day all-access packages and make sure you never miss a play from both these guys over at wagertalk.com.